what I'd like to start with is there's a lot of, not really speculation, but it's a well-known fact that hiring software engineers in London is a challenge. Um, I mean, is that true? How challenging is it? And how does it differ from a company such as Air to Amazon and kind of Shazam in the middle, for example? <laughs> Katie, I don't know if you want to start us off from a smaller community experience. Yeah, so I mean, I'm currently on a, a team of six, so like, um, so yeah, it's quite a different experience. Um, but I think so. One of the interesting things about working at Parity and also helping to run Get Your Meter Group is that we are inadvertently exposed to a load of really amazing women all the time. <laughs> so it actually almost makes it easier for us to hire women than it does for us to hire like men in this space because we just don't have the resource to be going through the like traditional avenues and putting loads and loads of time into finding finding people it's much more easy for us to find people that we know through us with personal networks and who are aware of us as an organization yeah. <laughs> i don't know how that would differ with like the work that you do <laughs> um yeah for me i suppose like, like our big challenge isn't getting people into the funnel we you know people uh obviously who we are uh, intrigued by the different development work we do so it's not our, our issue isn't about trying to get people in it's more about trying to find the top talent and in that case and we're very similar to, to everybody else I think our um, our methods are, are well established which which it makes it even tougher for us because we when we interview we're not interviewing just on the tech side of things we want to make sure that they are also fit for our organization and um, both elements have equal way in, in any decisions we make so um, our, our route to market is not people coming to us it's still very much us going out and finding them and so I think um, we need to do as much footwork as, as everybody else um, and we come across people all the time who aren't, aren't interested in us because they want to work with small startups they want to have um, you know, we can we can offer them new innovative things to be doing. But people, you know, people love the idea of the startups, and so we lose out to startups every day of the week. So I wouldn't worry about big people like us or Google's stealing the whole market because there are people that aren't interested in us. Yeah, and I would agree with that from our perspective as well. Um, you know, we. We have a fairly big brand name, but we are out there hunting for people just like everybody else is, really. And um, you know, if you kind of consider how smaller companies be attractive against big companies, you know, we lose out candidates to all sorts of different people. But tons of startups, tons of people that are smaller than us, because people's perception of a business that's been around for 15 years, like Shazam, um, is that they're not going to be able to have that much. Kind of influence and impact over what they're doing and actually they will um, and we operate very much like a startup actually which is probably why we're still only 220 people big mm -hmm. after 15 years um, but um, but you know um, we're a different offering so it's for us it's about presenting the truth of what our offering really is and then finding the people that that resonates with uh, well, I guess the top of the funnel is probably our biggest challenge um, so we're a small organization with there's some profile, a very limited profile, um, and that means I guess our decision process is I don't know, like, the, like the secretary problem, which itself is probably a kind of sexist name for a mathematical problem, but you kind of see one person at a time and you make a decision. Whereas I think like, the, the kind of problem that Amazon is facing is you kind of know the distribution of people you're going to see each month. Um, I think our cultural filter is much, much more, um, much bigger than half. In terms of our filter, I think because we're small, um, we know that you know, every new engineer joining is a, has a much bigger impact on how the organization is going to behave now and in the next 20 hires. So that's something we're very risk averse um, about. I guess the other thing that strikes me is that I'm not a dedicated recruiter. I'm uh, part of the data and engineering team with other stuff to do, and I'm juggling that with hiring, which in some way takes away. Perhaps one of the challenges of, of, of having distinct recruitment team versus um, engineering team, but it also means that we, we're, we're balancing time and resources that spread quite thinly across the organization. I think similar to you, our the culture piece for us is so, so important. So um, even though we're what, six years old now and over 100 people, that culture piece is still really important. And even if someone takes every single box on the actual skill side of it, 
if they haven't got the culture, then they're not going to be right for us. So even though we are, we've only made about 54 hires last year, we're going to make another kind of 40 to 50 this year. Um, we'd still rather kind of hire slow and make sure our culture isn't diluted um, than hire fast, just get the wrong person.